Taurus, hello, what's good with you? It is time for your January 2023 main monthly reading. We are going to start this off with a quick past, present, and future. For those of you who would like to find out how to schedule a personal reading, please read the description of this video very, very carefully. Don't get scammed by an impersonator pretending to be me. That's the only way to schedule a personal reading with me in the description of the video. Also, real quick, for those of you who are interested in energy healing, you should check out my buddy Case's website. He is able to reconnect you to the newest frequency to the planet. All that information is in the description of this video. All right, let's jump into this. Quick past, present, and future for Taurus. Oh, okay. King of Wands jumped out there. Okay, hang on. We'll see how that plays into the rest of the spread. Ooh, overall, I feel like you're honestly taking a break from this situation. You're taking a break. In the past, you connected with somebody, and I feel like it was a really quick connection, and somebody brought baggage into the connection in the past. Somebody did. Now, when I say baggage, I don't just mean like kids from a previous marriage or a psycho ex, you know, or something like that. That could be, that could be, but that's not limited to that. Baggage, what I mean is vibrational baggage, you know, heartache and pain and disappointment and vibrational baggage weighing you down. One, the other, or both of you possibly uh, brought a lot of past vibrational baggage into this connection when you first connected. And I feel like you connected with somebody that was really inconsistent anyway. You connected with a Knight of Wands. Person, you know what I'm saying, person probably talked a good game when y'all first met, knew exactly what smoke to blow up your ass to get out of you what they wanted, and then very quickly their actions aren't matching up with their words, they're saying one thing and doing another, and then they're fickle, flaky, and don't really know exactly what they want, and they switch up on you real quick, you know? All right, creeping up into the present moment, you're noticing that... In January, the connection between you and this person is getting weaker and weaker and weaker. I feel like this has been a silent standoff, stubbornness competition between you and this person. Like, it feels to me like silence, little to no communication. And I feel like it's a stubbornness competition with that King of Wands energy up there. I feel like y'all are both trying to prove a point to each other, basically. Uh, but the connection is getting weaker and weaker and weaker between you and this person. And patience on somebody, waiting on somebody to come forward, the patience is starting to wear thin, too. Okay, creeping up into the future. Ooh, I see communication. I see communication. And I'm feeling like this person's probably going to try to hit you up. I feel like you're turning it down, though. <laughs> I feel like they're going to hit you up when it's too late, and you're going to turn them down and ignore them. That's what this feels like to me. We got that page of wands energy right there. And here's you. Here's you. Like, nah, I'm done with you. I'm done with you. I ain't playing that game no more. Nah. Oh, still a grudge being held too. And even though the connection is getting weaker between the two of you, I feel like you're still losing sleep about this. But I'm feeling like you're getting over this slowly as time goes on. It's starting to bother them more as time goes on. If that makes sense. Okay, now let's see their true feelings and intentions deep down at the deepest level. Mm, two of Pentacles, they got a lot going on in their life. Told you, this person, this person carries baggage around with them everywhere they go. Ace of Wands. Knight of Wands. I told you. There it is again. There it is again. So at the end of the day, this person doesn't want it to want things to be over between the two of you. If they had it their way, they probably would reconcile with you. But I feel like this person is just too flaky. 
They don't really know exactly what they want. They may think they want one thing one day, and then they wake up the next day and they change their mind. You know, I, don't, I just don't think this person's very, doesn't know how to say, okay, this is what I want and like make up their mind and keep it there. You could be dealing with somebody younger than you possibly, but even if they're not younger than you, they just aren't very sure of themselves, very low self-confidence, no self-esteem. So, yeah, like I said, see, they don't know what they want. They're fickle, flaky, not 100% sure what they want. But I think at a really deep level, they would like to reconcile things with you at a deep, deep level. At a deep level. What's the advice of this situation? What's the advice? What's the best advice? Ten of wands reverse. Look, look. Your number one priority right now is healing from this. That's your number one priority. It. I, look, I got news for everybody out there. It don't matter what you want to do. Move forward with a new person or reconcile with a past person. If healing doesn't happen, it will fail. Okay? Vibration is the primary law. Attraction or manifestation is the secondary law. What that means is what you attract or what you manifest solely depends on what your vibration is. So if your vibration is broken, it don't matter who you go try to get with. You're going to end up in a broken relationship. That's why healing is so important. So important. Need some kind of closure here. You need to do whatever you can to get closure. That's your number one priority right now. Now, the good news is when we hear closure, we think that closure is something that somebody has to bring to you. No, no, you don't need to talk to this person to get closure. No, you don't. No, you don't. You can do it in your own heart. You can do it in your own heart. You are the one who is responsible for assigning meaning to your life experiences. You're the one that does that. So what was the meaning of this? The whole situation between you and this person, what was the meaning of that experience in your life? Most of you, I guarantee you, are going, I don't know. Well, it's time you start knowing. Because until you decide what the meaning of that is, it's unfinished business, which means it's a karmic tie. Karmic tie. Some of you might need to have a conversation with this person. You might. You might. If you know that that is not a very good idea, then don't do it. But you're going to have to do it in here. You're going to have to do it in here. You show sure is. You show sure is. All right, let's look at singles. Singles and their love interests. What's happening here? What is generally happening between single Tauruses and their love interests? What's generally happening? Seven of Swords reversed. Uh-oh. You have to bust them in a lie. Uh-oh. Four of Pentacles. Uh, Hierophant reversed. Ah, Death card reversed. So this person is having trouble moving on from something they need to move on from. They're either in a relationship that they refuse to get out of, or they are hell bent on reconciling with a past person. And I think they're not being a hundred percent honest with you about that situation. And you are probably about to bust them in a lie. Yep, I think you are probably about to bust this person in a lie. See, look, yo, you got to bust this person some kind of lie. There's somebody else in the picture here. And we've all been in that situation. You know, we've all been in that. So frustrating. Especially when you know that the person they was dealing with is not good for them. And it's so fucking obvious that you are good for them, but they can't see it. They're too stupid to see that this person's toxic.
toxic, and this person's not. But I think I'm going to go try to chase the toxic person. Because I think fucking goddamn Tinkerbell is going to come sprinkle magic pixie dust on our relationship and make it all better. And you can't say nothing to him. It's like, you idiot. What are you doing? You can't say nothing to him. Can't say nothing to him. It's like, God damn it. That's what I'm feeling like is going on here, man. That's what I'm feeling like. Uh, okay. Well, let's see their true intentions. Let's dig their energy up a little bit more. Let's see how they feel about you. How does this person feel about Taurus? What are their th true thoughts, feelings, King of Wands? Eight of Wands. So they do got feelings for you. They do, but they're still hung up on the past. They're ignoring the truth. I feel like they're ignoring their feelings for you because they're still so hung up on the past. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're ignoring their feelings for you, hung up on the past. Man. Oh, this person's real materialistic too. So when you have a materialistic person, you know that extends further out than just money. When you have a materialistic person, you have a person that cares much more about how things look than how things actually are. These are the types of people that, you're, you know at least that one person whose life looks so amazing on social media, but you know that's bullshit. And it's like, what are you doing? Why are you trying to put this false image out there to everybody when I know that's not what your life is? And you know that I know this, so you ain't even the slightest bit embarrassed. That type of energy, that's real materialistic. That means looks mean everything and reality means nothing. It's kind of what I feel like is going on with this person here. Because look, they're ignoring their feelings. Look. They're ignoring their feelings. Ignoring the truth. They're ignoring the fact that, that you would actually be much more aligned with their highest good than any past person or whoever they're with right now. They're ignoring that fact. They just so desperately want things to magically be what they want them to be. You know? Okay, what's the advice? What's the advice? Ooh, the five of wands reverse. Don't fight for this. Don't fight for this. You shouldn't have to fight for it. You shouldn't have to fight for it. You shouldn't have to sit around and wait for it. Now, let, let me, okay. So if you and this person are planning something, then yeah, you should, okay, wait, wait for that if you have to. But if you're dealing with somebody waiting for them to make a decision about whether or not they even want you, no, no, you're disrespecting yourself. If you don't know whether or not you want me, I don't want you. Get the hell away from me. Go on somewhere. You think you can find something better? Go find it. Go on. Go find it. You think that other person's so much better than me? All right, you go do that then. Go prove me wrong. Make a liar out of me. They never do. They never do. No, they never do. Promise you that. You think that person's so much better than me? All right, go get with them then. Make yourself look stupid, little dumbass. Make yourself look dumb. And they do, every time, every time. And you can just sit back there like this. I ain't even gonna say I told you, so I'm just gonna look at you like this. Mm-hmm, yeah. Oh, oh, they were so much better than me, wasn't they? Mm-hmm, oh yeah. No, you can't have me now, sorry. For real. Okay. You got somebody else coming in. If, if, if you're willing to respect yourself and set boundaries, 
Universe got somebody much better in mind that'll blow this person out of the water. Yup. All right, let's get some general messages. General messages. General messages. Doo, doo, doo. Ooh, Ten of Pentacles reversed. Some of y'all might be struggling with money or worried about money. Even if you're not really struggling with it yet, I see you're kind of worried about it. At least. Emperor reversed. Okay. Yeah, I see. Oh, big time money worry. Okay, even if you even if you got plenty of money in the bank, I still see you sitting around worrying about it for some reason. Hmm. Well, we are going through some interesting things financially. Coming real soon. This is the January reading, so who knows if that's gonna make itself known in the month of January yet or not. But we're going through some interesting things in the financial world. So for some of you, maybe that's got you a little bit freaked out. Maybe that's got you a little bit worried. <laughs> yeah, you're, some of you are wondering whether or not your job is stable. I'm not, for those of you who came to this reading and you're wondering whether or not you're gonna end up walking away from your job, I don't think so. I don't think so. For those of you dealing with a legal situation, I'm seeing it dragging on longer than expected. I don't see a decision being made one way or the other. I see it dragging on longer than expected. You're maintaining a positive outlook for the most part though, but that little voice of doubt is still creeping up in there playing games with you. That happens. It happens. Okay, well let's at least get general advice then. That wasn't very deep. Sorry, that wasn't very deep, was it? I try to make it deep. That wasn't very deep, though. Nine of swords reverse. Do not let nervousness, fear, and anxiety run your life. Notice I did not say don't be nervous and anxious. I said do not let this run your life. See, the reason that Nervousness and anxiety is a self-fulfilling prophecy, basically, is because when you let nervousness, fear, and anxiety get behind the wheel and start making decisions for you, when you make a decision and you take an action, whatever energy fueled that action or decision, that is the energy that you are dumping into your outside world. Whatever energy you dump into your outside world will be returned back to you. So if you are making decisions and actions based on nervousness, fear, and anxiety, you are going to continue to manifest more situations that harmoniously resonate with nervousness, fear, and anxiety. If you can manage to swallow that and not let it make decisions for you, eventually the ego is going to start to see there's nothing to worry about. Does this make sense? Oh, you need to focus on closure with past people too. Dedicate 2023 to closing out old ugly karmic ties and making peace with the past and letting go of grudges and shit. It ain't helping you none. I'm telling you, it's not. And no, that does not mean that what they did is okay. No, that does not excuse some of the horrible things that people have done. But the worse it was, the more toxic it is to hold on to. Because that's what, always, that's what people always say. Oh, you don't understand how bad it was. Well, I got news for you. The worse it was, the worse it's hurting you to hold on to. Under no circumstances, situations, or scenarios is holding on to a grudge ever beneficial to you. What's the old saying? Holding on to a grudge or holding on to anger is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. Come on now. Come on now. Yeah, once you successfully complete enough healing from people from the past, that is when the next person due to come in can make their way in. That's when the next person due to come in can make their way in. And the level of healing that you accomplish determines the level of success of the next connection. 
Remember, vibration is the primary law. Attraction or, vi or manifestation is the secondary law. Vibration is primary. What you attract is in harmonious resonance to what you're vibrating at. Okay, that's why we always got to check our own vibration. We got to quit trying to chase the manifestation and expecting the manifestation to create the vibration. That's not the way it works. That's backwards. Okay. All righty. Well, I feel like those were the messages that my Taurus friends needed to hear. So I am going to go ahead and end this video here. Thanks again, y'all, for tuning in and playing along. I greatly appreciate all of the love, support, and positive feedback you guys show me every single time I get on here and do this. Makes my job worthwhile here on YouTube, y'all. I greatly appreciate you. Don't forget to look in the description of this video if you would like to find out how to schedule a personal reading. And I'm out of here now, y'all. Thanks again for tuning in. I'll see you sometime between now and the rest of all eternity. Stay blessed.